Hello people on the internet, the Rook360 here and I'm back for another um review. Now you guys might notice um, um my uh, review set is different and stuff. Um if you guys are wondering why um I'm reviewing re in a different area, it's mainly because um I'm finally moving out to my new house and stuff, so um this will be my first video filming in the new house and stuff, so um but yeah. I'm literally I finally we finally got the house and stuff and it looks amazing, so but uh, I'll make that a separate video for for now. Um, let's get on the review. So today we'll be reviewing the the Hasbro Mar um, Marvel um, movie Iron Man 2008 torpedo uh, Iron Man torpedo armor from the Iron Man movie set. So um, I did actually got this like a year. I mean, not a year, like a month ago. I did actually got this at a flea market for twenty four dollars or twenty five or something. But anyways, let's get started with the packaging, shall we? So we actually got a nice at image of like um, um torpedo uh, well the, the armor right there stuff it kind of looked like war machine right there and stuff I'm not gonna lie but in blue and there's the name of it and there's some labels and warning missiles like um, um and all that and stuff you got a nice artwork and stuff of the arc reacting iron man right there and stuff so, um, and you actually get more bigger which i, I wish they could have promote more bigger like this um I did actually found. I hope they still actually have this in the flea market. Um, I'm. I may get this and stuff. So um, I do actually kind of want this. So it comes with a shield and stuff. So yeah. I don't know what armor it is. It looks okay, but and this I do actually want. So hopefully I can get this. You have an image of my Iron Man right here and stuff. So um, I'll try to collect more of this wave. Um, there is a red and silver Baron that I actually still in my comic book store to this day. It's like twenty four dollars. I may get that and stuff though. Anyways, but it. But anyways, look at start, shall we? So um, here we actually got the um torpedo armor and all this glory and stuff. And this is actually one of the gimmick toys and stuff. So um, and it is articulated. So um, for accessory, they only come with these missiles and these weapons in the back, which they do come off and stuff. But anyways, look at start. So it is a repaint from the other mold which is my first time having this mold so here we actually got this iron man all its glory and not gonna lie it actually looks good i do like it now i do want to mention um the the only complaint is so um it's the the joints and stuff so i guess this is like people people biggest complaint though like the like the joints in the leg then um this is actually this the articulation is outdated and stuff but it's still poseable and stuff so um but yeah but anyways, um, this figure does look good and stuff for an old Iron Man figure. By itself, it looks amazing for an articulate figure. So, I get started with the head sculpt. So, um, it is like literally the exact same from standard Iron Man figures and stuff. Like, um, um so the visor is color. I mean, well, the whole face is colored in blue and stuff, which I do like the red paint. I mean, the blue paint. I do like the the red eyes they actually give this suit and stuff so um i do love that and stuff and the paint right here looks amazing and stuff some more blue paint and everything so yeah i'm um, not gonna lie, it kind of makes it look like a war machine armor a bit so yeah um you got some more blue paint right here and stuff so i do love that and sculpting of the helmet looks amazing for an old iron man figure i always love this helmet and stuff so that's just me and a back you do actually get some detail, let me just move this. You do get some more detail in the back and the more sculpt detail in the neck right there, well the back of the neck. And the more sculpting detail and stuff they did right here looks amazing. So I do love that, like the blue paint, black paint, silver paint, looks amazing. And now we actually get to the front. So yeah, um, I do actually do actually have the Marvel Legend version of this figure of the, uh, the Mark III or Mark II, Mark III. But this is actually the old mold and stuff. Um, and um, the chest right here, um, we actually have some blue paint and stuff. So the, the sculpt of the chest looks amazing. Got some more black paint they did and stuff. Some more silver paint they did and stuff. It looks amazing. And some the red arc director looks amazing stuff. So yeah. It would have been nice if suit showed up in the movie as like one of the background suits from Iron Man. Um, from Iron Man 3. But I guess it is what it is and stuff. So yeah. Some more black paint right here and stuff they did. Some more paint right here. Looks amazing. And some more scope in the admin cross. I mean the, the 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 pack and stuff, so it looks amazing. 
and this shoulder i do want to match it they do actually pop up sometimes and stuff i don't know why maybe it's just my copy but who knows but no, it looks amazing so i do like the shoulder here it looks amazing if you guys do like you can pop them off they look weird without them so yeah um the shoulder looks amazing detail everything looks amazing so yeah the more blue paint and stuff the more sculpting details and stuff and um, um you actually get an arc reactor blast i mean well a bit of the arc reactor um keep in mind there's no hand swap unfortunately so it is an old marvel legend figure so yeah uh what else and you got an open hand with the with the arc reactor and um it looks amazing so the blue paint looks amazing honestly so yeah and some more details over here and now um the legs okay okay i don't know if it's my copy but the legs are like that but the detail on the legs look amazing you know you have this joint right here it might be outdated but it still looks cool and again i the incredible hulk actually have this one this kind of joint you, you know the hulk that i did review but anyways the um the paint the detail sculpting looks amazing i do love it and stuff the more sculpt detail right here and stuff quite like simple and stuff so um Got some more sculpt detail right here and right here and some more paint. I do love the, the gold paint right here they did and stuff. Looks amazing, so yeah. And now um, um it does actually come with a gimmick. So um you guys know the weapon can move like this. This can come off if you guys want to remove I don't the, can this come off? Oh yep, yeah, it does. Look at that. Oh okay. Some look at that, that's kinda I don't know if it's meant to be look like that, but I said that was molded in at first, but no, it can actually pop off and stuff if you guys want to remove them. Okay, you can you remove, okay, let me see if you can remove it all. Um, you can't do nothing about that, but let's just pretend like that's part of the, the detail, which looks cool anyway, so, um, um, if you guys want without them, it looks cool without them and stuff, so, yeah. But honestly, like, I'm, 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 if you guys want it, here you go. It does come with these accessories, which um, um they they look like missiles and everything. It makes it look like a war machine armor and stuff like um. I don't know why they can just call it just war machine, like literally just painted black and call it war machine. That's literally an easy thing to do. Like literally, look at this. You cannot. <laughs> I thought there were no buttons of it, but hey, it worked. Okay, is there any other button you can shoot this thing? Or it's just for show, I don't know. So yeah, the button was there the whole time, but like, I do recommend being careful because... Um, I'm not gonna use the missiles that often because, you know, it could be a choking hazard and stuff, so, um... Uh, look at, let me see this, okay. Let me just... Okay, it's stuck. I guess I'll shoot, you know. I'm listening to missiles now. Okay, just one more, just one more. Okay, let me just remove this and there we go. Fire. Fire. Okay. Okay, there we go. Fire. That's cool, honestly. I actually like that. That is honestly cool. Uh, for articulations, um, 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 head on the bowl joints and stuff. It's quite limited and stuff. Um, um, arm can move like this. This can move like this. Oh, this can actually move around. So you can get some cool poses, maybe. Um, yeah, it does actually have this outdated joint right here and stuff. I don't afford to, but I can care less. Like can move like this and stuff. Like can move like this and everything, and yeah. So yeah, the articulation is actually, um, it's actually quite good, minus this and stuff, but, but yeah. But anyways, um, I think, think that's about it for the video. <laughs> I think that's about it for the video and stuff. Um, um, this is an old Iron Man figure and stuff from 2008 and stuff. I, I might think about collecting the whole line in the future, but yeah. Anyways, um, um. I'm going to end the video here and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Love, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.